so so far we have remixed the website edited the html to edit the text of the website and edited the css to edit the styles and appearance of it um, and that's only the styles and the appearances of the um, the text we haven't done anything um, edited the videos or the images or the effects yet um, and so next what we will be doing is adding an audio track to this or basically replacing the current audio track um, and so uh, I won't show you how to make an audio track um, but uh, you will need to get something that is in mp3 format um, so that it can play in different browsers um, and one way one place that is possible to get free both audio and video is uh, a place called Internet Archive that's just um, a nonprofit library of millions of free books, movies, software, music, websites, and more. Um, and you could click on audio, for example, and there's um, one, I mean, there's lots of audio here, but one place is there's something called net labels. So some people release their music for free here. Um, and just make sure wherever you get your audio, because you can also record it or do, or, you know, maybe, or find a track somewhere, just make sure it's in mp3 format and then in order to add it to the site um, there's this uh, folder called assets um, and uh, this is where all the images and all of the um, all of the um, audio that you want to use I mean we only sort of have space for one mp3 file um, you can upload it to this assets folder um, and you can upload things just by dragging them by dragging them here um, yeah but by, by dragging them here or by clicking this button where it says upload an asset um, and then selecting the file um, from your from your computer and if I recommend doing any editing you need to do before uploading things here um, there are some effects that you can apply in the browser, but um, it's it's limited compared to what you might be able to do on your phone, for example, in terms of cropping the video. Um, and also imagine because this is the browser and um, people will be uh, maybe if they will they will be seeing this on their phone or they'll be seeing this when they don't have like a strong internet connection. So, the smaller the files, the better. So you have to kind of trade off sometimes between resolution and um, and uh, how uh, big the files are, uh, big in terms of file size. Um, so go ahead and add your uh, add your song to this assets folder. And then what you want to do is once it's uploaded is get the URL of that file. And so in order to get the URL, uh, click on it. And this, this um, will appear. And what you can do is click copy. And that is a link to that. Basically, um, your music or your images have been uploaded to glitches servers and then this link is a link to that specific file on the server and so what you want to do is copy that copy that file and then we'll go back to the html file index.html and find the element that says audio here it is highlighted and what we're going to do is replace the source of this audio file with the source of whatever you uploaded. Um, so I'm actually uploading the same, using the same file, but just to show how to do it. Basically, I want to delete what's there. And um, then you should see still, it says source equals, and there's these two 
double quotes. Um, and so it's very important that when you type in your, um, when you paste your link, that you uh, paste it between the double, qu double quotes. So here it is, um, and yeah, if I, like, let's say I accidentally left off the quotes, then these red dots appear showing me that something's wrong. So um, if the red dots appear, it means you might have uh, missed something a bit. Um, so now, once you've pasted your audio, and if there's no red dots, and it, again, it should be source equals double quotes, and then the file that you copied from the assets folder, then you should be able to click here, and it should play your audio file.